Miss Mallet, the world famous detective, ran through the rain across the narrow rope bridge. The bridge swayed wildly in the in the wind. She was sure it would collapse any time. Just as she made it to the other side, the gush of the gush, a table broke. The bridge fell in the tangled heap of hundred feet below. That was slow," said Miss Mallet. She dived under a fern for shelter and crashed into Harold Strutter. Watch it," cried Strutter. "Haven't I endured enough on this miserable trip without being not about to?" "I'm sorry," said Miss Mallet, "but I didn't see you, and I had a narrow escape just as I got across the bridge. The whole." Thing collapsed from under me. I can't imagine what happened. Well, I can," said Strutter. "I've been saying it all along. This expedition is haunted. No one is safe. How can you say that, Harold?" asked Miss Marlet in surprise. "What are we? We're such a fine, experienced group. You and I are the only tourists that started." Peter Dusty Duck, the well-known archaeologist and explorer, Victor Chauvelin, his assistant Maurice Drusander, an artist Max Butterball, a photographer, and Hester Spoonbill, a journalist. Miss Mallet continued, "They are all perfectly suited to go digging for the lost city of Kimbutaka. They know all the rules for safety." Certainly, not one of them believes a headless demon is after us. Miss Marat looked Strutter straight in the eye, and neither should you," she proclaimed. "They'll change their minds soon enough. You'll see," said Strutter, just as I have marked my words. Suddenly, the rain stopped. "Listen up, everyone. Let's move on," thought Doctor Dusty Duck to the group. Harold Strutter ran out from under the fern to tell Mister Dusty Duck all about the collapsed bridge. You see, he cried, "Another disaster, just like yesterday when the boulder rolled down the hill and nearly crushed poor Hester Spoonbill." We must turn back. These things happen," said Mister Dusty Duck. "You said that yesterday," said Strutter. "I know," answered Doctor Dusty Duck. Mr. Dusty Duck went over to Miss Marlet. "What's this I hear?" he asked. "Are you all right?" "I'm fine," answered Miss Marlet. "But I'm afraid the bridge is drawn." "Don't worry about it," said Doctor Dusty Duck. "Victor will make us a new one when we return from Kimbutaka." Miss Marlet asked, "Do you suppose all these accidents have anything to do with the threatening messages?" The ones that made you ask me to come on this day, you mean those letters signed the headless demon? Asked Doctor Dusty Duck. I don't think there is any connection. These things happen.